Hello guys, and today I'm going to tell you about um, a Kentucky Fried Chicken knockoff, um, i.e. clone, I went to, okay? Now, basically, normally I don't get fast food these days because I can't afford it, but I was once really, really, really hungry and desperate, and a lot of things to carry back, and I just was really hungry, so for once I just did it, okay? Now... We have Kentucky Fried Chicken clones over here that sell similar food, okay? And often it's referred to as Southern Fried Chicken, okay? Now, firstly, I'm going to show you a picture of a box from KFC. Now, I'm not saying this is from KFC in Britain. I've just searched the internet for um, KFC. I've not, you know, bought a box of food from KFC for quite some time, I believe because um, it's quite expensive by today's standards. Um, I mean, it's not probably too bad if you've got a job, but I haven't, okay? So, I'm going to show you now a picture that I got off the internet of a, of a real, genuine Kentucky Fried Chicken box, okay? Right. That's the Kentucky Fried Chicken box. And now... I'm going to show you a box that I got when I went into a, a, a shop which sells similar food, okay? Instead, it's, it has SFC, which generally means Southern Fried Chicken. It's not a specific brand. Often you go to supermarkets and they talk about Southern Fried Chicken, and it's often used. It's a way of saying KFC without KFC because it's not actually KFC, but it's the same idea roughly, right? And KFC's slogan was finger licking good, and they've put on finger licking flavoured chicken. Okay. And again on the side it says southern fried chicken, finger licking flavour. But then, after I, and it says all your all you need is finger licking flavored chicken. It's got right here. Right there. And so they've nicked the the finger licking idea from K KFC. And so I got this. I ate it, and then after I'd eaten it. I found something very, very scary. Something that would absolutely terrify your average white supremacist Republican voter in America. Are you ready for this? This is what I found on the packaging. <laughs> yes, it says halal. It's a Muslim chicken meal. This means that before I could eat this, an imam had to pray to Allah that the chicken would taste nice and be healthy to eat once some breadcrumbs were put all over it and it was cooked in an oven. So yes guys, I ate some real, genuine, bona fide, official halal um, chicken, which is part of a KFC cloned chicken and fries meal okay so there you go guys and i didn't even realize it i didn't i mean to be honest i i mean i, I wouldn't but it doesn't bother me anyway because there's lots of halal shops around here they just are right but um there you go guys someone could just buy that eat it and not realizing that the next day they were going to suddenly become a muslim or something right because they ate some halal food you have to take my word for it, it really genuinely does say halal. I know the camera's not very good, but it genuinely does. 
So there you go, guys. A halal version of KFC um, from a local shop. Local fast food shop, okay? Or fast food restaurant, okay? So, there you go. And as I said, I will be honest, I don't think it tasted any better because um, Allah had been asked to make it taste nice or because Allah had been told to make it healthy. I mean, I'm slightly joking here, I know that, um, but they do pray to Allah prior to slaughtering the chicken. Um, it's part of the religion. Um, and as I said, we've got a lot of Muslims around here, so that doesn't surprise me too much, okay? But it would absolutely terrify your average American Republican white supremacist voter, right? Because they are scared stiff of Islam and anything to do with it, okay? It's just the truth, right? So there you go, guys. I'm not going to show you the food because I truthfully ate it, okay? And I only noticed this after I'd eaten it all. So, otherwise it would not have been really new, you know, worthy of any comment at all. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.